Hi, I'm John Chilton, General Manager of the Coverity Business Unit at Synopsys. Um, as you know, Synopsys entered the software tools business earlier this year with the acquisition of Coverity. I'm here with Andreas Kuhlman, Vice President of R&D for Coverity. Uh, Andreas, um, you joined Coverity about four years ago, actually from EDA. What caused you to go from EDA over to Coverity? Yeah, John, you're right. I mean, I spent almost my entire life in EDA. I was, you know, at Cadence before. I was at IBM um, and T.J. Watson for a while. I was at a number of places in Germany, always writing tools for, for chip design. And uh, four years ago, I joined uh, Coverity, as you said, to take over the R&D organization. And the main motivation was really that I saw a lot of similarities between hardware design and software design. In fact, as when I go to customers, what I often say is, uh, Software design or software development just seems like 10 to 15 years behind the rigor and you know the, the t usage of tools and methodology that we had in hardware design. So seeing also a lot of problems out there in terms of software development, I thought that's a new frontier. This is where we can make a big impact with, with better tools, with better methodology, and, and solving the problems you know, of a much, much wider space. So that's why I joined Coverity. <laughs> so we built up a really nice business, up to $75 million, and I had no intention to come back to EDA. Mm -hmm. So John, what made you buy Coverity? Andreas, I think we got into it for precisely the same reason that you did. You, you saw what we had been able to do in EDA and how much we'd been able to help the hardware engineer and wanted to take that to the software engineer. And that's exactly what we wanted to do at Synopsys. You know, we've been able to really move, you know, with Moore's Law, just change, sort of change the world in how chips are designed and how productive they can be. But if you think about software, obviously there are many, many brilliant people in software, but software isn't designed that much differently than it was 20 years ago. And if you think about the, about the world today and how important software is to the world today, and where the world's going to be 10 years from now, we're not going to be able to use the same software development practices 10 years from now that we do that we do today. You open the newspaper, you see, you know, one more security breach, one more security breach. We're going to have to bring some of that same rigor. So we thought this was an area that we could, you know, bring to bear exactly what I think Synopsys and EDA, especially Synopsys, are is good at. And you know, hardcore engineering practice you know, algorithmic expertise, really solved the software problem in a way that no one's really done at scale before. And we loved Coverity because Coverity is really the first company that's gotten to scale. You said 75 million. It's not many companies get to $75 million. You really have to solve a hard problem for a lot of companies uh, to do that. And Coverity has done that. And it's not the typical software tool where it's, you know, sort of a debugger or kind of a mechanical tool. It's a heavily algorithmic tool where the, where the computer is actually doing hard work. And we think that's the beginning of a trend in software development where we can have the computer help the software developer to develop better software. And out of that, we can build a great business, much as we did um, in EDA over many years. So tell us a, a little bit about the products at Coverity. I think it's right on what you said. I mean, Coverity was started in 2003, came out of the research of Dawson Angler at Stanford University. And they took a very unique approach to static analysis at the time of C, C++. They started with the early, the early work was on a Linux kernel. And it was exactly what you said, John, was essentially using some high algorithmic techniques to essentially infer and find bugs in code that are very common, that people commonly make, that are not so obvious. So the company started, and Synopsys, in fact, this was, was one of very early customers and, and utilized, actually, Coverity very successfully internally. And so we started with C, C++, um, static analysis, added later Java, then added um, C Sharp analysis for quality added then um, a product called Security Advisor, really um, addressing the needs in the security space. I mean, 10 years ago, I think it was not so urgent yet, but today, I mean, you, the, no day goes by without having something in the headlines, you know, of, of New York Times or Wall Street Journal where some company got hacked again. And this is probably just, you know, a little bit we are seeing. I mean, security is a tremendous driver right now in terms of you know software development processes and tools. So that's what we did. And then a, a third product we added about uh, two and a half years ago uh, where we went into the dynamic testing space. So we call this Test Advisor. Test Advisor helps developers 
to write better tests um, earlier in the development process. And we utilize our knowledge of the code for this. And secondly, Test Advisor helps, once you have many tests, which tests should they actually execute once you made, for example, a change in the code. I think our big mantra, our big mission, our big belief is by moving testing for quality as well as security earlier in the development process and ultimately actually when the developer writes a code at that moment when we can solve these problems as early as possible we will succeed or developers will succeed to write better code this is kind of our world mission in one in one sentence so john what do you think we're we going to take all this now from a business perspective well i think the the I think the business is pretty bright uh, for Coverity because I, I think you will see basically every business in the world, almost every company is a software company nowadays. You know, it's not just companies like Synopsys that are software companies. We are a software company. We're the 16th biggest software company in the world. But every retailer is a software company. Every energy company is a software company. You know, the, you can't run every entertainment company is a software company. And I think every company is going to go through the same journey that Synopsys did. You mentioned that Synopsys was a Coverity customer. We were one of the first large customers of Coverity 10 years ago, back when, you know, the software that Synopsys makes is extremely complicated. So we ran into that quality wall earlier than people who make less complicated software. We saw that making these huge applications run for days and days and days is quite tough. And we went through in 2005 or so a big process to to take this 10x the quality of our software. And one of the keys to that was bringing in Coverity. And over the years, we've adopted more and more Coverity to the point where all of our products are pretty much mandated to be Coverity clean now. That makes us a much better software company. And what we see is companies are, it's a little bit like the early days of synthesis for Synopsys. Companies are, you know, one at a time coming to that realization. Just this last year, we won our first really large deal at a really large international bank. And one after another, the banks are going to realize software quality is important. The technology like this is the, the key to get there. Same thing, we also won our first large energy company in the last 18 months. They're learning that. And so we're going to see just one after another, large companies come, need to take their software development practices into the future, which means not just rely on typing and, and hoping, but rely on software to build their software. So I think we're going to go through precisely the same sort of transition that we did in our EDA business and our IP business, where we start with the strong point tool. We, in, uh, in EDA, we started with synthesis, and then we became a platform business. We became a total front end supplier. We had simulation and things like that. Then we became a full lane, line supplier, and then we became the leader. I think we're going to see that transition. We're right now a super strong point tool. Our static analysis tool is 5x larger than uh, the next um, in terms of revenue of the next player and, you know, tremendously ahead in technical capability thanks to you and, and your team. People want static analysis, they're going to come to us, but they're going to want more from us. We're going to develop that platform. We're going to do more and more and more. And I think we've got a 20-year journey ahead of us to really do what the world needs in software, but I think we're perfectly um, positioned for that. So tell us a little bit more about kind of the roadmap. You know, where are the products going in the, yeah. in the short term? I, I think a very good connection um, you made. You, you want to get actually into the broader world of software. And what you see in the broader world of software, not everybody writes a code in C, C++ at EDA, right? There are many, many languages. So one of the initiatives you really have is getting into more languages, broader language coverage. You know, languages like Python, right? Apple just came out with Swift, right? There's Go, there's Ruby. There's a long, really tail end of languages that developers use for all kinds of purposes. So we need to handle those languages. The second aspect is in the dynamic space where we just started with the test advisor product this is really the workhorse of getting the code right the same way that you know simulation is a workhorse to get hardware right in the EDA world there is just lots of opportunities where we need to build more you know dynamic um, testing for security as well as um, 
for quality. And the third one is really insecurity. I mean, just keep pushing on security. I think, you know, particularly with things like the internet, the, the, the internet of things, um, you know, security will become just, just more and more relevant when, you know, your toaster talks to your, to your refrigerator, you know, and then starts to hack into your bank account. I mean, things are really cutting loose. I'm just joking about <laughs> this, but, but I think this is, this is where the world is yeah. going, right? So, so we see a lot of really growth and opportunity in the security world. And then last but really not least, and these are just some examples, I think our delivery process will also change. I think there's a lot of movement uh, you know, into the cloud, not only you know, in terms of services that everybody sees on a daily basis, a lot of development processes themselves uh, will be moving into the cloud. So delivering our services hmm. and solutions in the cloud will become increasingly important for us. All right, thanks Andreas. We uh, are very excited about this move. We think this is gonna fundamentally help our current um, users, people who are designing the, the semiconductors, the electronics and things like phones, because the software portion of those projects is becoming just as important as the hardware part. It's no fun to design the perfect chip and have the product fail because of some issue in the software. So we want to sort of encompass, embrace the whole team. But we also think we can really help the world in general by helping your bank account not get hacked, by helping your credit cards not get stolen from companies like Home Depot, et cetera. So um, we're really excited about this journey. We think it's going to be meaningful, meaningful for everyone, um, all of our Synopsis family, and extend our Synopsis family. So thank you very much.